Hello, hello, and welcome back to Thomas Talks. Hopefully you guys are keeping well. It's a nice, uh, well, semi-sunny evening. It's, the temperature's a little bit cooler <laughs> than it was earlier on in the week. And I thought I would do a quick video comparing a Louis Vuitton Slender Wallet against a Michael Kors Wallet because these are two big brands within the fashion industry. And if you're looking for a wallet, I thought it might be a beneficial video. So I'm going to compare these two, uh, which hopefully you guys can see on camera. I'll do some close-ups of them. And I just wanted to crack on with this video. So we'll start off with the exterior of them. The Louis Vuitton Slender Wallet is just ever so slightly larger than the Michael Kors by maybe one or two milliliter millimeters. <laughs> uh, you can see the spine of them. Similar kind of material, kind of like canvasy, waxy material. If anything, I would say the Michael Kors wallet feels a little bit softer, kind of grain on it. And that feels a little bit more dried out, the canvas on the Louis Vuitton. As you're aware, um, I'm going to focus on the style of the product more than the kind of uh, aesthetic of the print because you can get this in a variety of materials and prints and same with the Michael Kors. So both have got an edging of kind of like, the one's got brown, one's got black, kind of rather piping around the edge. This particular one's got like a course in the gold, silver, <laughs> gold font, what I'm talking about, the silver uh, hot press stamp, hot stamp press on the front of it. I presume the same kind of process that they would use for hot stamping the internal when you're personalizing your Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton itself, this particular one just has a wee Louis Vuitton and one of the squares at the front. So both are kind of subtle with regards to their branding, uh, even though the print you might say might be a little bit funky and fancy on the Michael Kors one. When you open them up, that's when things get interesting. So I'm going to flip the camera around and hopefully you guys can see this. So here we have them side by side, just on the table. We'll open them up and we've got Michael Kors embossed on the right hand side there. As you can see, we've got slots for one, two, three, four, five, six kind of card holder slots, which I can get my little paper copy of a card just to show you where things would go. We've also got a little bit of space on both on the inside, which is lined with the nice Michael Kors lining on the inside for both of them. Like so you can see, you can get another, maybe a couple of cards to keep your notes and things in there. And then it has a space, one big open space up there for your, maybe your receipts, some cash and things like that. Now if I open up, the Louis Vuitton wallet, sorry it's got all my cards on it, as you can see it's got a little bit of canvas here to kind of help let it stretch out, whereas this one, it relies on the back self of itself there, so it's slightly designed differently on the inside. We do have room for three cards on this side, however it is a slightly different design. So I will take that back. You can get two on this side and three on the left hand side. But I typically keep maybe two to kind of pad that out a little bit more just so you can get more space. Three on that side and then I guess you could put something in there but it just doesn't feel like it wants to, especially when there's cards in there. It feels quite full. The main difference up here is we've got a little divider so you can keep things like your receipts and maybe see you want to keep some cash there. That's got a wee divider there. Because this particular wallet doesn't hold as much as my pocket organiser, I've ended up putting some spare cards, like my loyalty cards for Morrisons and BP, up in this side. So when it folds over, you can still access them. But it does look a little bit clunky, uh, but it's the price you pay for trying to get loyalty points. And that's kind of the main side-by-side -side difference for the Slender wallet. But with regards to price is the big point, because the quality of them uh, isn't too much in it. Uh, I said that my eye might say there might be like slight stitching up here. You've got a little bit of imperfection at the top right. But apart from that, the Michael Kors wallet's made pretty well. So we've got a little bit of shadow there with the sun popping out through the clouds. So the Damira Bin Canvas Slender Wallet is £305 as of July 2021 time of filming. Uh, I did pay, I think it was just under £300 for this three years ago. I think it might even be closer to 250, uh, but it's about 305 pound 
for the slender wallet uh, as a classic piece of the keep doing and producing. But I like the fact you can get to hot stamp, so that's a little nice personalisation touch. It does say Louis Vuitton, made in France and red on the left hand side, and you can, as I said, you can get a wide variety of colours and materials. But for £305 versus this little wallet, I think it was £40 you can get in the outlet. It's a big difference, and if you're just looking for a nice designer wallet, I'd maybe say go for the Michael Kors one, as much as I love a Louis Vuitton and the branding. If you're just looking for like a birthday gift, something to give to somebody with a little bit of a name on it, Michael Kors is a good way to go because the quality isn't much in it. The size, <laughs> there isn't much in it. And you could save yourself about £260 going for the Michael Kors wallet. So if you're looking for a gift maybe for a boyfriend, you could go and get them this wallet and take them out for dinner a weekend away versus just getting them a Louis Vuitton wallet which, as nice as it is, I can just, can't really justify it when you see there's £260 between it and there's not much in it with regards to quality, storage that holds six cards as I said, a little bit of cash that holds really five cards and it's got double the capacity really for cash but yeah, it's up to you to make the decision but I thought I'd bring this video to you Give you my thoughts and honest feedback on this. They're made very similar, as I said, and I'm going to be rambling on. But I hope you guys find this video useful, informative, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel below, uh, comment below what you might go for, uh, considering the price, and yeah, I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.